All right, what is happening guys? Max Kazik here. I am currently in Cluj, Romania, standing outside of a beautiful statue. Guy on a horse, Mihai Vitezul from 1593 to 1601. So uh, I'm not sure what it says in there. Obviously I cannot read Romanian, but it says uh, Romanesti and then Moldovi, which is, uh, I believe, Moldova. It is a beautiful day here in Cluj, Romania today. Probably just under 30 degrees. Very nice breeze as well, which I love because we just got here from Budapest, Hungary. And Budapest was crazy. It was so hot, the same as Serbia. And uh, I really needed a detox. And this is the perfect place. A lovely little student town, which is just, I think, under 300K people that live here. So it's fairly small and it's an absolutely beautiful city. Now, this is the second biggest city in Romania. So we have Bucharest, which I visited not so long ago. It was probably about November time last year. So it was very cold. It was during the winter. So people were a little bit, um, how can I say, just not as friendly. But that's pretty much anywhere you go to guys in the capital city, like go to London and you're gonna feel exactly the same way. People won't stop to help you um, on the street. Whereas you go to a second biggest city and you're gonna get completely different treatment from people i've been here for the past two days now guys and so far my experience has been absolutely amazing everyone is very friendly um, as expected second biggest city guys you know you might have to skip the capitals from now on if you are planning on doing that or potentially go to bucharest for one day check it out see how you like it and then just get yourself down to Cluj, romania let's go we're gonna go to i need to get off this path i need to actually <laughs> cross through here because i'm gonna die in a second but uh yeah we're gonna go to the old town i'll show you guys the old town first and then we'll see what we get up to let's see if we can cross there we go so have a look at the architecture guys of like how the buildings are looking i think this is like uh austrian architecture if i'm right Bank of uh, Banca Transylvania. Interesting. All right, so on the way, we can see a nice monumentum. Monumental. This is how they say it. And you find something very interesting. So over here, you have the Romanian flag and you have the European Union flag. So if you guys didn't know, Romania joined the EU not so long ago. It was, uh, I believe, January the 1st, 2007, when Romania joined the EU, which is uh, European Union, for those that don't know. And you're gonna see a lot of influence in a second of the EU, how it changed Romania completely. This is why we see those flags, guys, is because all of these new buildings that were built, the trams, the trains, it all comes from the EU. Over there in the distance, you can see a very beautiful church just over there. We're not going to go there today, I think, because I'll show you guys some other churches. And uh, now we're going to walk through the gardens. Guys, we'll just take a seat on one of these benches, sitting in the garden. This is how it's looking. Very, very peaceful and nice. And look, I've got my phone with me here. I don't feel at all any danger whatsoever. And um, if you compare this to somewhere like I don't know, Colombia, for example, where it actually is dangerous and you have to really be careful pretty much any time that you're walking around in, let's say, Medellin, Colombia or Cartagena, just, it doesn't really matter where you go, guys. It's like you can go to one of the safest places in Colombia and you still have to watch your back. And then people have this idea of, um, you know, Romania or Poland being super dangerous because it's Eastern Europe, but it's really not. I think I'm gonna walk that way because um, it's very, very quiet here and I don't really want to be shouting in people's faces. Like, think about it, guys. The first thing you think of when I say Romania is gypsies, dangerous, you know? But this is the stereotypes that a lot of people create, but I really want to show the good parts and uh, how safe it really is. Like, guys, I'm walking around in the country that's not mine and I can hold a camera out, I can have my phone out. No problems, no problems whatsoever. 
So this is a very peaceful city guys. We've got a nice restaurant over there. Everyone's behaving themselves. Here's like a abundant house. You can see the Romanian flag, the EU flag. This is proper Romania. I think this is one of the older houses. So I got a question on my Instagram and one of the guys wanted to know whether I preferred Bucharest to Budapest to Cluj. So first of all, Bucharest, not my vibe, didn't like it at all. And then the problem with uh, Budapest guys is that it's gotten too popular. 10 years ago, it was the first time that I went to Budapest and I absolutely loved it. Like you really stand out, you're like the only foreigner in there basically. And um, it wasn't destroyed and now it's like absolutely destroyed guys. So you have many tourists that are just after drugs, getting absolutely drunk and just destroying the place. And because everyone there speaks English very well and is very well connected. So it's very easy for you to just fly to Budapest, you know, for like, let's say eight pounds, 10 pounds from the UK, you get a lot of the British tourists. To get to Cluj guys, it takes a lot longer. You know, you have to either go to Bucharest or you're gonna have to go to Budapest and then take a train or a bus to get here. So it doesn't attract as many tourists. Like here, I'm pretty much the only tourist guys. I haven't seen many tourists here from other countries. I'll be honest, and I've been here for two days now. So that's the difference. We're just outside of the city hall of Cluj. This is, uh, again, you see loads of Romanian flags, EU flag. They're very, very proud to be Romanian. You know, it's, it's very similar to um, Hungary as well, Poland. All of those countries, guys, have, they're very nationalistic and they're very proud to be Romanian, okay? And I think that's a good thing. And even on the buses, guys, you have the EU flag. So EU must have helped Romania quite a lot. Uh, since you know all you're seeing is those flags like all the time so uh, it's very much interesting now going back to uh, Budapest versus Cluj is like again Budapest guys prices have gotten very expensive to live if you want to go to Jew in the summertime you're gonna be paying quite a hefty amount and uh, Cluj is a little bit cheaper but it still has gotten a lot more expensive why well Cluj is mainly a student city so these students guys have raised the prices quite a lot so for example for my place here i'm paying like about 50 pounds a night man i love seeing those old buildings of romania they're very simple kind of like the communist buildings and this reminds me of poland you know like poland used to be basically like this 20 years ago over here we can see the untold festival advertisement i think that is going to be in august so maybe maybe i might stay here until then or come back here later on for that festival and do a little bit of filming and check out the flags guys wow like one two three four it's just like it keeps going so we are approaching the st michael's church i love how this channel has turned into like a tourist channel <laughs> But uh, yeah, guys, I like my uh, sightseeing, you know, like the first thing I do usually when I arrive in a city is I just do the sightseeing first within one day because you don't really need, I mean, unless you're like in Tokyo or something. And then, then you just hang out, then you just chill, you know, so you've got your lime, little scooters you can rent out and then boom, loads of flags. Right, there we go. That's like the first travelers I saw and you can see like the travelers because obviously We've got the backpacks and they're probably going to a hostel okay <laughs> St Michael's Church it is closed today guys unfortunately otherwise I would have showed you guys that and they got all these restaurants like all across the church going that way and then uh, I will take you guys around the church as well and we'll walk straight through and I'll show you some other sites maybe it's open Wow, 
so that was a very nice experience. And this is a Catholic church. I thought uh, most of Romania is Orthodox, so that's a bit of a change because I think other churches I want to show you guys later on will be Orthodox. And this is like the main square, okay? So again, restaurants, main square, St. Michael's Church, and then we got some monument just in front of the church. I think this is uh, from like the 19th century. I'm not exactly sure. So again, guys, I don't know the history of every single city, but uh, if you do know, just comment down below. I have never seen so many flags. Like, it's absolutely crazy. Look, it's one, two, three, four. It just keeps going to the end. Um, so, you know, this country is very, very proud of itself. And I think that's a good thing. Got a small restaurant here. And um, I think this is pretty much it. Like, we're out of the old town now. So I'm going to go that way and see if there's anything else for you to guys to show. And then uh, we're probably going to go out, get some food, try some Romanian food, and uh, maybe check the nightlife out as well. So this video might change very quickly, guys, and it might become a little bit crazy. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, so we have stumbled across a Romanian Orthodox cathedral called the Mother of God. It's just an Orthodox church, and obviously in front of it, there is like a monumental of some sort. I don't know exactly what that is. And again, guys, flags. And over there, we have the National Opera of Cluj, Romania. A very beautiful city. It is so peaceful here, guys. But I don't know about you, but I'm getting very hungry. And I'm getting very thirsty. So I think on the way back, I might get something to drink. We're gonna go back, get changed, and then we'll go out for some nice Romanian food. Okay, so I want to grab some water to keep myself hydrated. Let's see if we can find some water, guys. Hi right, guys, we got our water. We're gonna stay hydrated. And uh, if you guys don't know, I paid like 250 ron for this, which is about 40 pence. And uh, you got ron and lei as currency in Romania. So right now, we're gonna go meet our friend Simon. I just realized that he is in Cluj. So he hit me up when I meet him now and then grab some food. I can already see him. Yes, bro. There he is. How are you, mate? You right? We always end up in a kebab place. Thank you, Thank you bro. What's your name? My name is nice to meet you, bro. Nice to meet you. This is the best kebab Shalom. shop. Uh, Max Keswick. Max Keswick. Yeah. I will try that. <laughs> and I will, I will try your kebab and I'm gonna give it a rating of one out of ten, bro. Thank you, bro. Just really quick. What do you rate this place out of 10? This place? Well, yeah. you've got the food, yeah. haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to rate mean, it myself, but... I mean, the water is nice and chilled, so it's a nice cool bottle of water. It's what you need on a hot day in Romania. No. It's not the best kebab, but I'm going to give it about 8 out of 10. Yeah, yeah that's good. That's a good score, I think. Yeah, yeah. It's got the fries, it's got the vegetables, it's got the chicken. That's all you need. So guys, have a look at my lovely date I'm with tonight. Simon. <laughs> Chilling, eating chicken. This is the view. Simon, are we gonna go somewhere else after this? We are, yes. We have a beautiful city of Cluj to explore. Yeah, so check out the nightlife, man. It's, it's becoming very much alive. So how long have you been in uh, this town for, Cluj? G back in... 2016. 2016. Yeah, and what kept you coming back? Just a nice place, mate. Right? People quite reserved, but uh -huh. respectful. Yeah, yeah. very clean. That's and awesome, bro. People very friendly here, like a lot more friendlier than the capital. We're not supposed to be drinking tonight, Simon. We're at this low restaurant. However, I just seen a special offer for Jack Apple Tonic 25. Bro, that is an offer we cannot resist. Is this apple juice then or what? It smells like it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to find out. Is that strong? apple juice, bro? Nah, just apple juice. Yeah, it's just apple juice, bro. Well, cheers <laughs> to that. Cheers. <laughs> 
Romanian taxi, baby. Yeah, so how are you feeling it so far, Max? So where are we going now then, huh? So we're going to go to the party street. In are we? Okay. Here, Visa Street. Let's have a look. Let's check out uh, nightlife of Romania, guys. What are you saying, though, mate? You need the full what experience. Are you saying, mate? Why are you keep coming back here, Simon? <laughs> You'll find out this weekend, mate. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell you yet. All right, mate. So I'm guessing uh, Cluj nightlife on your Friday this Saturday, yeah? <laughs> the next day. Right guys, so we're at the Bamboo Fitness Gym. Look, even at the gym, they have the flags. It's ridiculous, man. Romania is something else. So today, I'm not gonna show you guys the whole workout because you're gonna get bored. As usual, guys, link to my program is down below. Go check it out, get yourself in shape. And uh, yeah, I'll just show you the gym as well. So like, this is basically what it's looking like. You've got squat racks all along here. You've got the spa just there. And then you basically got like this weight area, like deadlift area, and it just keeps going. So you got more squat racks, benches, like, like pretty much everything that you need. Um, it looks absolutely amazing, man for 40 lay, I mean, this is crazy. And then even to the end, guys, like, if you're over there, you've got your cardio machines, so plenty of space, come check it out. Man, we're back on it again, we're back on it again. That's so strong, man. I need to quit these drinks, man, it's gonna destroy my health. Listen, mate, don't judge me, all right? You were drinking last night. All right? And I saw this. 200 milligrams of caffeine, I thought, you know what? Give me that shit. Good stuff. like this bro so why do people smoke in Romania why because they like it I've become a cowboy now guys mm. hardly spoke to folks around him didn't have too much to say hello everybody I'm hello, here everybody. in Romania now I am a Texan
Texas, Max Keswick. <laughs> you like me? In Texas, like yeah. Look, Cold this girl boy. has. This is crazy, guys. Look, this girl's got the same eyes as me. Look, compare the eyes. He's a cowboy. So, look at the eyes of her. Look at that. Have a close look. They have she similar got exactly eyes. Exactly the same eyes as me. That's kind trippy, of. isn't it? Yeah. And then you have what? You Do we have, have the same kind of? You're like a Latina. Yeah, right? I have. I you have brown eyes. I'm Romanian. Colombia. You to go yeah, to Colombia. Yeah, you do the next day in today's video we are going to be exploring some of the romanian nature so we're off to kayak today you just asked me if i can swim yeah are but you actually serious yeah because it's very deep that's what she said! <laughs> There's a Romanian fella walking around. Tarnica is the... Tadica. The name of the lake. The roads here are like super crazy. It's like, just goes like this. Maybe I can park here? <laughs> Maybe yeah. put the car there. Uh, yeah, no, just park it there. Not Stick not it there. <laughs> it's fine. Guys, women in Romania can park. Oh. <laughs> Good job. Good job. That's amazing. You can be an F1 driver. Mm. What do you think about that? As what? a career? To be a what? Check how busy it is, guys. These are the prices. Let's go. Yeah. Guys, you can get some food down there. Look at this. I thought I'm going for a small little like a nice little kayak session and this is like a full-on party <laughs> Romania is another level man yeah. you even got a DJ Sorry. it's crazy check the view guys wow Corona, Heineken, Corona oh you got a Fanta light nice Fanta light bro Rev, I need a Fanta light Rev where is the DJ? <laughs> So guys, I didn't have Fanta Light, which I obviously love, so I'm going to have some uh, sparkling water. Romanian sparkling water, cheers. Salut. Salut, you say? Dolok. Dolok. Are you saying Polish? No, Polish in German. Nastrovia. Nastrovia? Yeah. When did it happen? Someone died. And then you brought me here. Are you trying to kill me? Are you trying to kill me? Time to experience Romanian Lake. How cold it is. I'm hoping there's no sharks or piranhas inside there. So, the fish in there swimming. Are you afraid? Very refreshing. Not cold? Max? Oh. Romanian Lake. It's the best. So now are you jumping in or what? Or do I have to 
no, don't push me, don't try that. <laughs> All right, we finally made it. Look at these guys having a party there. Absolutely crazy. Come on, keep paddling. Is there sharks inside here, this lake? Yeah, there are really big ones. Big sharks? Yeah. We're trying to get a little bit more sun, guys, because... There we go. And the sun is back. Yeah. Okay. So we can get a nice no, little tan. Push it. Yeah, we nearly died. Beautiful place. You're doing a good job. Keep going. Yeah, but I'm gonna motivate you. Keep going, come on. Let's go. One more rep. Ten more minutes. Ten more minutes. You got this. Doing a great job. Keep using those muscles. <laughs> Short strokes with the biceps and triceps. Left and right, that's it. Is it good? Okay. Do you feel motivated? So, do people live like down there in uh, the yeah, forest? More like local cabins. Local forest. cabins yeah. down there. Yeah. Put it in the water. Not in you put it in the water, yeah? In the water. Where? Where, where do I put it then? Oh, we have arrived in Serbia. <laughs> How cold is the water? It's okay for now. Careful. Snakes. Oh yeah, there's many snakes here. I saw one literally on the way. Come on. Yeah, there's a lot of snakes. Okay. And if you do this, you, you, attract you attract them. You attract them if you do this. This is where they come. They're like, oh, someone's splashing the water. And then they, uh, like, they come and they bite you straight away. They don't bite. That's what I heard before I came here. Fucking. <laughs> it's like the sand just begins to. But the water Ooh. is good. It's not that cold. <sighs> So deep. Is deep there? Yeah, deep. Look, I'm already. So yeah, guys, it's super peaceful here. Get yourself here. You know, don't just stay in Cluj if you're gonna come and visit. Go see these sort of places. You get to see real Romania. There is not a single foreigner here except me, and it's just a bunch of Romanians everywhere. So it's nice to experience something a little bit different. This is what she does best, guys. I do all the work. She sits here. Sits on a kayak, lays down like this. Doesn't do any work whatsoever. I did. No, you don't. Work. Yeah, I deserve it. Huh? Yeah. I deserve. You it. don't deserve nothing. Yeah, of course I deserve it. I did the whole work. You're you lazy. Did, you didn't do anything. You're very lazy, you know. <laughs> In life, you gotta work hard, you know. What's the song called again? Manana. Gypsy song. I'm vibing bro. I can I can do this. I can definitely fit in there. <laughs> Let's go baby. I'm about to pull up. Man, the people here are super super friendly man. Hey guys, so we're just at the Motel Gilau. Check out the Gilo. view. Gilou? Motel Gilou. Gilou, okay. Gilou. <laughs> Gilou? Gilou? Gilou. Hotel Glue, okay. And uh, <laughs> this is the view, absolutely amazing. And uh, yeah, I've got my organic green tea. Was well, this green tea or mint tea? Oh, uh, mint tea. No, it's, it's herbal tea. It's for sure it's green tea. made a mistake. I only drink green tea. But today, we'll have mint. So what is this? Polenta. That's the polenta. Valenta? Yes. Which is? Cornflour. Potato? Cornflour? Yes. Okay. Do you have polenta in Poland? 
No, I don't think we have. We just drink uh, peppermint tea. That's all we do. We drink peppermint tea and green tea. That's it. <laughs> it's, the actual, it's peppermint tea? This one, peppermint. Eastern Europe. What fish is this? Trout. Trout? Yes. Mm. Very good. Mm, Very good. Very good. All right, guys, and we are back at the house. Might as well show you guys around really quick. This is my lounge kitchen because, of course, I cook. And uh, I'm paying like pretty much, I think, just over 40 pounds for this. So, got your bathroom and obviously, nice bedroom. That is pretty much it guys, I'm gonna sign off right here. So, it was a pleasure. Don't forget to subscribe if you made this to the end guys. Like the video, comment down below, let me know what you wanna see in the next video. As always guys, subscribe and make sure to hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I post a new video. That is it, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.